Inverted Yield Curve Trading Strategy Can an inverted yield curve be used as a successful stock market indicator? Can we make a profitable inverted yield curve trading strategy? We'll show you, but before we make trading rules and show you the results, let's explain what an inverted yield curve is. A normal yield curve is one in which longer maturity bonds offer a greater yield than shorter maturity bonds due to the risks involved with time. This makes sense because you would require a higher return the longer to maturity to compensate for the increased risk. However, there are times when shorter-term bonds have higher yields than longer-term bonds, and the yield curve becomes inverted. For example, the 2-year yield can be 4% while the 10-year yield is 3.5%. It's inverted. Historically, there's not been many inverted yield curves. On the screen, you can see the 10-year yield deducted the 2-year yield. When it's negative, we have an inverted yield curve. The yield curve is inverted 44 times since 1976, but it tends to be clustered in small-time windows. Can we make money on yield inversions? Let's backtest a couple of inverted yield curve trading strategies. Our first inverted yield curve trading strategy buys when the curve gets inverted and sells 250 trading days later. Since 1976, the strategy returned an average 7.3% over the next 250 days, which is more or less the same as the typical annual return. Let's go to inverted yield curve trading strategy number two. The trading rules are based on mean reversion of the yield curve, and we employ the RSI indicator. There are only 102 trades since 1976. The average gain is 2.5%, and you're invested almost three months per trade. The return is slightly better than any random period. All in all, our research indicates the inverted yield curve trading strategy is not particularly useful. Good luck trading!